I'll get you some water. Damn that hog leg boy. <laughs> Somebody got <go> through, huh? <laughs> You're the reinforcements. Horses, foot, dragoons. <laughs> One schoolboy going to take back Fort Scotch. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of taking. <laughs> Who be you, boy? My name's Yuma. Johnny Yuma. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. You know who I am? <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Solomon. Caesar. <laughs> Big medicine, boy. Powerful medicine. Maybe you ought to kneel. <laughs> Maybe you ought to curry my favor. Because I hold the power of living and dying in these here parts. 
you going to kneel? No, sir, I'm not. Maybe it ain't absolutely necessary and positively necessary. As long as you show the proper respect. Mind you do that, boy. Yes, sir. Where are you heading? North, Fort Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. You know why? The Indians, north, east, south, west, all points of the compass. The Redskins, the Redskins with the, the smell of blood in their beaks and, and murder in their eyeballs. I didn't see any. <laughs> Indians. Indians all around. You, you smell them? Engines hit this fort. When? Oh, hundred years ago. A thousand. Maybe it was only last week. Anyways, a lot of dead men ago. Comanches? Oh, Kiowas, boy! Kiowas! They chew up Comanches for breakfast. <laughs> oh, see, tent is smeared with paint. Paint and blood, boy! And there ain't Nothing to breeze at Concho except in me. <laughs> How is it you're still breathing? How come you're the only one alive? He, he, Indians is like kids one minute and killers are next. You, you gotta outsmart them, which is what I done. When they hit the fort, I hid. You what? We didn't have a chance anyhow. Well, your blood would have turned green at what I seen when I was hid. Don't you turn your back on me, you rebel pup. This way, my bones still bend. I'd only be dead if I'd have fought. What good had that done? Your bullet might have killed Satanta. I ain't no coward, because I hit. I was smart. I saved the fort. Yeah, sure. A and when they was through it, a dancing and a scalping, I walked out amongst them, dressed in these here garments, big as a buffalo. Get the you savvy why, boy? Yeah. Indians won't hurt a man out of his head. I, I, I walked out amongst them, acting loco as a red-eyed steer. That took courage, boy. A bucket full of courage. Where are the soldiers? Their bodies? I buried them. What was left of them, like heroes. Our army's got to take care of its own. <laughs> A lot of dead men. Just as long as I, I keep pretending I'm sovereign among them, they, they leave me in this place be and bring me food and the like. And I'm in command of the fort. You don't have to face a court martial. You will die. 
Do you know the reason? I reckon because you say so. A man should know why he dies. That helps him to die well. You gotta die, you might as well be good at it. We will see, Yellow Hair, if the Kiowa will be proud of your scalp. This is our land. You will learn that as the other milk faces have. Looks like you taught him pretty good, Satanta. You know me. There was a time when they called you the great orator of the plains. Now they call you other things. The long knives have made my heart a stone with no soft place in it. You, yellow hair, you have fought the long knives too. Like the Kiowas. Not exactly. You were beaten. Hey, Lictus. Your chances of winning were not good. They were better than yours. One does not fight always to win. Sometimes the fight is to hurt back. Look upon Stumbling Bear. Do you know what he carries there? The bones of his son, killed by the long knives. Look at the land about you. Our fathers, our families are buried there. We will not sell their bones cheaply. That is why we fight. That is why yellow hair will die. Iron Hand. Not now. Let him die as the sun sets. Slowly with fire. Yellow hair. What do they call me now? Butcher. Yeah. You know why I had to say all that, boy. Yeah. This way I never tell anybody about the coward of Fort Concho. I got a wife and a son. I don't want him to grow up ashamed of his name. Oh, they ought to be mighty proud of you. Them Redskins, they, they was going to scort you anyway, Reb. And this way, they think I'm crazy for sure, turning on a white man. Come on ahead. I'll take any kind of company I can get. Can you understand me? Can you talk? How come you're with them? A raiding party. We are no raiding party. We are buried Satanta's wife. My mother. You're not an Indian. Never seen an Indian with blue eyes before. My mother and I were the only ones left of a wagon train. A long time ago. I was kill him? No. Fever and hunger. Satanta has been my father. All this time that Kiowa lived in peace. Until the white man broke his word. I know. So 
the matter? Why are you looking like that? My mother. Her hair was the color of wheat. Did you ever try to escape? At first, we were too sick. Later, there was no place. No reason to go. The papers you carry, the ones that Arnhan took, would they harm the Kiowas? Those papers might not do anybody much good, but they meant no hurt to the Kiowas, and neither did I. They have nothing to do with the soldiers? They're part of a... a sort of book I've been writing. It's not as easy for me to talk to people as it is to put down the things I've felt and found out. Your actions put much value on those papers. Maybe too much. But people got to have something important. You got Satanta. Me, I... I got a book I've been writing. I will help you. I will tell you of the Kiowa Challenge. There is a custom as old as the Kiowa Lodge. The right of the challenge Satana would not deny even to an enemy. If the challenge is pro... There is something that must be said. What must be said? A pig walks among your lodge. How does Yellowhair know this? By the filth that hangs from his face and the odor of his nearness. Well, how near is he? As near as Iron Hand. Kukushe. Kukushe. <laughs> We will see who is the pig and who will be skinned. We will run for the knife.
Fight like the eagle. You are free as the eagle. Walk as Atanta's brother among the Cheyenne, the Kiowa, and the Sioux. Satanta, troopers will be coming back to take the fort. They have taken many things before, but our vengeance here is over. We will take with us the white man who sees the face of heaven. Yellow hair, if the troopers follow, will you ride with them? No, I won't do that. I won't ride against Satanta. Bumper. You have grown up among us, but now your mother is dead. Your heart and hand went to him, and if the bond is broken, you can go back to your people. I will stay with my father. When I young Glaute, you po. Tell nobody what I've done. They're waiting for you. You ain't gonna tell nobody, are you, boy? As far as I'm concerned, everybody died at Fort Concho. No use saying anything bad about the dead. It's got my name on it. Maybe you could get it to my kin. Tell him you found it on a dead soldier at Fort Concho. Figured that he had been pushed enough, the rebel. Johnny Umar, the rebel. 